Hey there, hey there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Dabby. Welcome you to another AST 40s 80s golf food tournament. We're in round three at the St. Andrews at the British Open. Dutch Harrison has a one stroke lead over Sam Steed with Chick Harbert, Johnny Bola, Fuzzy Seller, Bernard Langs, Lang, er, sorry, Chuck Bespaden, and Lloyd Bangram all at 11 under par. This should be very interesting. Lots of people at 10 under par. We have 45 golfers who qualified. There's 23 groups. Well, there's 22.5. So it was the top 40 in ties. Minus 6 was there. So what we'll do is we will be playing, watching the 17th pole because the 17th pole is the famous road hole. Of course, it's St. Andrews. It's me, I'm Jesper. So everyone will go through 17, and then tomorrow we'll go through the final round, or final group, or groupings. Depends on things. The wind has actually dipped down to light wind. So, see what happens here. We have a hard course, fast green, link style, rough, but the light southwestern wind. Gene Coons. Minus one today. Oh, one more today. So Coons will shoot. Now he's on the fairway. Let's see what he can do on the road hole. Coons, okay. Alright, that's a putt. That's a putt for Birdie. Ooh, he missed. But that's okay. Two feet. So he goes to find another part. Billy Joe Patton and Fred Hawkins. Patton went over par with four nasty bogeys, but look at Fred Hawkins, six birdies, no bogeys. Fred Hawkins is at 12 under par. Could he sneak into somewhere? Oh, Patton went a little left. Fred Hawkins, oh, well, he's left as well, but not too far left. Patton, Oof, he missed that one, Hawkins. He'll have to lay up. Oh, he'll have a weird pitch up. Patton. Oh, God. Let's head straight to that bunker. Oh. Hawkins. Up and over. Yes. Oh. Rolls. He's rolling. He's rolling. Onto the road. Onto the cart path. That's not what you want to do. Patton. That's what you want to do if you're Patton. Hawkins will have to catch up. Okay. So it might be a bogey. Nope. It's a devil bogey. So you don't have to tie on your car. I don't know for Well, I don't know who's going to Willie Goggin and Henry Ransom. Ransom one under par, Goggin one over par. And Goggin does that. Left. 268. is landing. The 17th hole. 
He's with Earl Stewart Jr., who sounds like a bowler. Four under par for Stewart. Mine was three under par today until that triple bogey. So Stewart Jr. will go to the left. Mice. Shot it a little bit. Nice. Well, the good news is he's got a better chance of a pitch up. On a pitch up. Alright, he's got that. Now for birdie. Eh. Nice for part. Overshot it. Stuart for part. Got it. Franchise Eagles on 14. He's trying to put his name in the record book. Amy Bean, who won the last tournament in June, won over today. Bruce Litsky, two under par. So Bean's in it with Litsky. I think that Hogan has a win, doesn't he? Yeah, Hogan won in April. So Hogan's trying to win his second title. The bad news for Ben is that he will be kicked to the curb a little bit. He won't be able to compete in any more tournaments because he's got two wins. A steady shot by Litsky. Any B. What's that? Veslick and Shelly Mayfield. Nice job by Veslick. Six birdies and clean five on the front nine. So Veslick trying to make a move. Oh, nice job. Going straight down the narrow part of that fairway. Shelly Mayfield. Left side. Two nine and nine. Up and over. Veslick. Mayfield says he wants to play. 89 feet, he'll leg it. Smart move. Bezalik with the pitch. And nice pitch by Bezalik. Mayfield for par. Nope. Bezalik for the 600. Bezalik for par. Still for the bogey. So Bezalik trying to make things happen. Group 8, Crenshaw and Neri. Big Ben Crenshaw, minus four. Yeah, just finished a double bogey, so he would have been six under par today. Nary one over par. So Crenshaw at 11, Nary at six under par. Nary to the left. Crenshaw. On the right. Nary. Hmm. Crenshaw. Oh, okay. That actually worked out for him. That was headed for the bunker. Naughty. That's bunker. We'll have to lob it. That's not bad. I've seen worse lobs. Crunch off for birdie. He'll like it because he could easily have put it in that bunker. Smart idea. Married for boogie. Nope. He'll no double. He'll fall in the park. Crunch on 11 under par. David Graham, the Aussie, with Frank Stranahan. Both my, well, David Graham minus two, one of only four non Americans who are playing this weekend. So he does that. And we have Stranahan do that.
emotions have died down. Scott Simpson and Gil Morgan. Scott Simpson, 500 fire, 530s. Gil Morgan. That looks pretty good. Let's stay on the fairway. No, they said. Simpson up and over. Okay, down, down the hill. Ooh, right onto the road. Morgan. Virgo minus 12 with Mac O'Grady. Looks like weird with the bubblegum, but yeah, Virgo's 500 par today. Meridian Ed Virgo. for the lead. The clubhouse leader is Bezalik at 13 under par with Crenshaw and Simpson at 12 under par. So we have some golfers still have to hit the 17th. There's Armour the third and Mark James, the second non-American. It's Mark James of England. Both have had some decent things. Tommy Armour the third. I know Tommy Armour's in one of the card sets as an Englishman in the early days. Mark James. Mark James, all right. Not bad. Arbor. Oops. I think it's better if he just tries to pitch it up. James? What the heck is that? Mark James, does he avoid the bunker? No, he doesn't. Arbor? Arbor hot dog, so he'll have a long par putt. James is losing his touch. There we go. Right in there. Good. The park. Way off. For triple. Well, that's a quadruple bogey for Mark James. And we're five under par. For bogey. Oh, you'll have the double. Farmer's going down to eight. George Bird's a triple bogey on 11, so he's trying to catch lightning in a bottle. Johnny Palmer and Harvey Ward, both at 500 par. Ward has had two terrible bogeys. I think he's at the lead. Johnny Palmer and his yellow beret, or painter's cap, if you will. Harvey Ward, the weird name Harvey, but I-E instead of E-Y. Is that Jeff Ward? Okay, on the third path, is he going to be... Oh, he's got that wall. Thank goodness that he cannot lose his grip. Palmer has to go up and over. He does. Uh oh. Onto the card path. Ward from the wall. I thought Harvey Ward was British. It's not. Palmer. Does that? For part. Bobby Clampett's now at 1500 par. He's trying to win this tournament. Mike Tunessa and Tom Kite, both four under par today. Tunessa does that. Very good. It's on fairway 307. Kite. He's on the fairway as well. 206. Up and over. Yes. Excellent. 
excellent that kid. That's a great shot. He's within range. Vanessa. It will not be. Will we want to go out of bounds? No, that hit the wall. And the wall. Beautiful job by Vanessa. Off of that wall. For Brady. Oh. Kate's like, seriously? That would have been good for Kate. Got a 1300 par with that. Brady on 17. Kerry Middlecoff and Bobby Locke. Both these guys have won tournaments. Bobby took the February tournament. Middlecoff took the March tournament. So these two guys trying to win their second event. It does come at a price because that means they are automatically disqualified from next month's tournament. Well, the rest of the year. Middle cough, middle cough, middle cough. Okay. Well, could have been worse. Bobby Locke. And, uh, and on to the card pack. Bobby Locke, another one of only four non Americans playing this weekend. Oh, what a card by Bobby Locke. How did he do that? He had one more chance. Middle cough, the pretty. Oh, it's in break. You would have loved to go to 14 under par. Now we got Ed Virgo, his brother Marty just passed by, and Bobby Clampett, both with these rounds, minus four and minus five, respectively. Virgo moves to the right. Clampett uh, to the right. Ed Virgo up and over. Curl. Ah, it's a good curl. I'll take a curl. Hard sweep, hard sweep. Clampett. It's gonna have a tough shot. He'll leg it. Virgo. Got it! Big booty by A Virgo. Big shot. Clayton Hefner and Ben Hogan. Both 500 par today. Clayton Hefner a little left. Hogan. A little left as well, but not as far left as Hefner. Hefner up, Hefner. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. And again, okay. Oh, it spun away from him. That was greens, eh? Especially on 17. Hefner does that to save face. And Hogan will do that trying to save face. Four of the six guys who won. Well, Tom Watson, 16 under par. Six under par today. He's been on fire. He had a boogie on 10, but it doesn't matter. So Tom Watson says, it doesn't matter what happens to me. He goes to the right. George Burns. Missed the balance. To the left. Next shot. Wow, that's a terrible shot. Especially with that third shot coming. Burns, Burns out. Oh, that's beautiful. George Burns with a terrible shot. Watson having a terrible shot. And this will be a par shot, too. This is shot number four. Well, is it manageable? I don't know. I think Watson may have played himself to a double bogey. He's going to come close here. Set up a double bogey putt. Burns for Brady. How do you miss that? How do you miss that? Lots of blocks to 14 in the car. I don't know, we're doing this career. Byron Nelson and Chandler Harper. Byron Nelson, who took second last tournament. Last month's tournament, trying to go from second to first this time. Byron Nelson, alongside. Crenshaw, who took second in February, and Fred Hawkins, who took second. Oh boy, he's a friend's guy. And say it with me. Divot, 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 divot. Shut up, shut up, shut up. From that divot. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh oh, that's way off. That's a penalty stroke for Nelson. Trying to win this tournament. And that's a good shot. That'll be a bogey putt, I think. 
Harper. This thing for the car. Got it. Got something off the board then. Number 13. Johnny Bola. Wow, he's on fire. The bull in the china shop. Jabez Spaden and White Mangrum. Mangrum five under par with that blue painter's cap. So that's what this magic is all about. The mixed Spaden goes wide left. Mangrum right in the right center. Left center, sorry. Mixed Spaden's gonna be fucked. And ooh. Spaden's in deep trouble. Get something. Mangrum. That's close. All right, that'll work. Good job, a bogey. Well, that's a triple from Spaden. Good from Spaden. Seller and Bernard Longer. I believe that's the third last group. Yeah, Longer has been terrible on the back nine. Four bogeys are worse, so Buzzy Seller looking pretty good. Bernard Longer, the fourth and final non American to compete this weekend. 309. 309. Buzzy Seller. Oh, that's a bunker shot. Bernard Longer. Up and over. Whoops. Whoops. Was he so alert? Oh, he almost got it back. So he'll get a bogey, I think. Bernard for 30. Yaw, yaw, yaw. Goes to 10 under par. So the bogey, he's at 14. Chick Herbert and Johnny Bola. Bola, six under par. He settled down. He had a double bogey on 16. Wow. Herbert. Herbert. Oh, trying to spin it right in that little area. 334. Bola. Bola in the middle. Left center. All right. Here one. Up and over. Yes. And it'll graze a little bit. Well, that's good enough grazing for me. So he'll have a decent. Shot and Chip Carter. He's like 12 under par. He's like, why not? That's why not. Bola. Got it. Got him the bowl. Harbert with bogey. So Bola. Looks like he might actually be in the final grouping. Harrison and Sneed. Last pairing. Harrison's been on fire. Four under par today. Sneed, not so much. So Dutch Harrison. Now on the right side. It's on the fairway. Sam Sneed, right there, and the middle, ish, next shot, Sneed, up and over, Dutch Harrison, oh boy, well, it could have been worse, up and over for Harrison, so we'll set him up for the par, Sneed for Brady, skimmed it, Far, Harrison for far, got it. And the leader is Johnny Bola, shocking a lot of people. He's at 19 under par. Dutch Harrison second at 18 under par. And Ma Lloyd Mangrum's third at 17 under par. So Johnny Bola, a 64, great job. So Mangrum third. Tied for fourth, Ed Fergal, Clayton Hefner, and he Ben Hogan. And Fuzzy Seller. So a lot of people are at 15 under par. So Johnny Bola could have be huge if he gets in with Dutch Harrison and Lloyd Mangrum chasing. Uh, Tom Watson and Byron Nelson are tied for eighth, tied for tenth, lots of 13 under pars, including a 65 by Al Bezalik and a 67 from Johnny Palmer, Harvey Ward, and Mike Tanissa. So America is looking pretty good. The top non American spot in the lock at 12 under par, tied for 18th. Langer's tied for 23rd, Graham's tied for 29th, and Mark James is near the end of the leaderboard. But yeah, Johnny Bola goes into the final day ahead with Dutch Harrison trying to hang on. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.